when I use a gun, it really has to deliver in terms of just the way it performs against enemies. And the chronophage right now, I'll be honest, it just feels kind of bland. So in this video, we're going to go over why I feel that way and perhaps share some stories along the way. So let's get straight to it. I'm going to keep it 100% here. When I first started playing Destiny 2, I wasn't really a big fan of trace rifles. I came into the game looking at them thinking, man, these are really strange weapons. Like, how can somebody use these things? But then over time, I came to appreciate them with the likes of Cold Heart, Agger Scepter, Wave Splitter, a lot of cool, cool options. And so with Chronophage now being the latest addition to that category, I thought, okay, the expectation is mid and so I'm going into it with some degree of anticipation. But then as I started using it more, I realized Chronophage is kind of bland. Like there's nothing really that makes it any different, that makes it stand out amongst its competitors. And the more I use it, the more I realize that it just doesn't seem to cut it. I can get away with more damage on other respective tools and other weapons, other void options that have the respective repulsor brace, the stabilizing rounds, they do it so much better than Chronophage in a lot of areas. Whether you're soloing dungeons or you're working with a team in a raid, I just don't feel that Chronophage has anything going for it. Outside of its design, which admittedly, I will say, design-wise is pretty cool looking, but performance-wise, I do think that it kind of falls flat. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Have you been using Chronophage? What are your thoughts about it? For me personally, I'm just not really sold on it. And it kind of sucks because we're in a new act, new episode of this whole new kind of direction that Bungie is taking with their content. And so my expectation was that, okay, cool new weapons are coming in and whatnot. But yeah, Chronophage, it's a new weapon, but it doesn't really feel anything new there's nothing new to it if that makes any sense so that being said let's move on to the next point i'm truly excited and looking forward to playing revenants and all the future content in destiny 2 but that's in the future Right now, the real dilemma is in the present moment, and Chronophage sits in this category of weapons that just don't seem to hit the mark. Now, granted, there have been some positives. We've had a lot of bangers as far as weapons. We've had Aberrant Action, for example, The Call, all these cool weapons that have come back. Perfect Paradox, even though it's busted, it's still cool to have a busted weapon, you know? But Chronophage doesn't feel like any of that. It doesn't stand out in any sort of way when you compare it to other notable hitters as the ones I've mentioned. So it leaves me begging the question, what is going to happen next with regards to trace rifles in the future? Are we going to see other carbon copies similar to Chronophage? Or are we going to start to see a lot more consistent design where trace rifles have some potency, some aesthetic appeal, long-term power, I want to see more of that. Right now, I'm just kind of in this place where I was starting to grow fond of Trace Rifles and seeing a new Void option was really exciting, but then playing with the Chronophage made me feel let down. Now, again, this is just the beginning of what's in store, but if this is how it begins, I'm kind of concerned about how it's going to wrap up. But who am I to say, right? I'm not a mind reader, nor am I a psychic. But what do you guys think? What trace rifle options or ideas would you like to see in the future? Let me know in the comment section down below. But for now, all that being said, new warriors, stay strong, keep fighting, and may the forest be with you all. Always. Alrighty? Also, Bungie, please give us more bows. We need more bows in the game. Alright? Give us more bows. Alright, folks. Take it easy. Peace.